Well, hello guys. It is Monday, the 21st of December. Welcome to the 21st day of Flossmas. I am off now until Christmas. I worked night shift last night. As you can probably tell, I'm still pretty tired. I came home, I slept a couple of hours, and now I'm up for the day. And I am off today, I'm off the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And I go back to work um, for day shift on the 25th. So I am working Christmas Day and Boxing Day this year, but you know, that's the luck of the draw as being a shift worker. Some years we work Christmas and some years we don't. This year I happen to be working. So we're actually gonna have our Christmas Eve on the 23rd and we're gonna have our Christmas Day on the 24th. Uh, that way I don't have to cook or my husband doesn't have to cook a big turkey dinner on the 25th while I'm at work and then me eat turkey at 8.30 at night when I get home. So we're, we're gonna just shift it ahead by a day. So that means that I have a day less to get this cardigan done. And I was going full steam ahead. I had about half of the collar crocheted last night and decided I didn't like the look of it. Um, I was using a front post and back post double crochet stitch in order to get a ribbed effect and it was making the collar fairly thick which would be fine if I was just doing a single flat lying collar but I want the collar to fold over like a shawl collar and so the collar needs to be a little thinner like a little less structure to it so I have changed how I'm doing the collar I'll flip the camera around and show you so what I've done is I added on the band along the bottom and I did that using a single crochet in the back loop only, which kind of gives this little uh, ribbed detail. I don't know if you can see that very well there, but it gives like a little line, a ridge. I did a single crochet all the way around the front and the neck and then down the other side. And then I had picked up and I was starting to do the double crochet this way with the ribbing. And like I said, if I wasn't going to fold back the collar, it would have been fine. But because I want to be able to fold the collar back, I need it a little more flimsy so that the collar, let's pretend this is the collar for a second, um, so that the collar can kind of roll back on itself nicely. But instead of the ridges going this way on the collar, up and down the length, I need it this way. So this is what I'm doing for the collar. I'm doing a separate piece which will be sewn on. It'll be attached using a single crochet here, going up one side around the other, which will be able to fold back on itself. And the ridges are running this way, the same as the spacing is here. But this stitch using a back loop single crochet gives it, like I said, this little bit of a um, rigid effect with this piece that sticks out, the loop that sticks out every couple rows. So it'll kind of match the band on the bottom, but instead of the lines being uh, vertical, they'll be horizontal. Okay, I'm going to work on this. If I can get this band finished today, I'll be in a great deal of luck because I still have two sleeves left to do. And I'm running out of time. <laughs> 